Multi-shot competent cells offer flexible transformation throughput and expand your discoveries. Multi-shot strip well 12 by 8 tube strips allow you to perform 1 to 96 transformations. Offering very high throughput applications with top 10 competent cells in 96 well plates. Introducing flex plate chemically competent cells for manual and automated flexibility. Pre-aliquoted competent cells in 12 by 8 tube strips can be used for single reactions up to the entire strip and are available with 5 E. coli strains. Top 10 E. coli for routine cloning. Mach 1 T1 resistant E. coli, fast growing. DH5-alpha T1 resistant E. coli Routine cloning with T1 phage resistance Stable 3 E. coli Clones unstable inserts BL21 star DE3 E. coli High protein expression The multi-shot flex plate competent cells give you the freedom to choose your transformation throughput in a large number of E. coli strains and can be separated into the desired number of segments. Working with multiple options for heat shock of competent cells, including water baths, heat blocks, and thermal cyclers, as well as compatibility with manual and automated processes. In addition, you have access to an extensive range of chemically competent E. coli strains. Now, let's look at how you can separate flex plates into segments. Obtain the flex plate from your minus 80 degree freezer. While keeping your plate in the freezer, select the number of segments you would like to use for your experiment by scoring the heat seal with a razor blade. Snap off the columns. Quickly transfer the cells that you will be using to an ice bucket and retain the unused portion of the flex plate in the minus 80 degree freezer. Keeping the cells on ice, carefully remove the seal and add DNA to the cells. Thoroughly mix the cells and DNA and then apply the supplied adhesive foil seal cut to fit the number of strips. Incubate the mixed cells and DNA on ice according to the protocol. Perform the heat shock steps as directed in the protocol using your preferred heat shock method. After the recovery on ice, move the cells to your bench top and carefully remove the adhesive seal. Next, add the supplied SOC recovery medium and replace the seal to incubate the cells at 37 degrees Celsius for one hour without shaking. 